Hello, anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we're exploring Amnesia the Dark Descent. We're here in the morgue! Yay! Where dead people lie, literally. And we need to use this really shitty syringe made of a needle combined with a copper tube. It doesn't even seem to have a way of actually drawing blood out or pushing it in, but whatever. Details, am I right? Huh, let's just get some of them. Oh. Yep, just put the blood in me. Call me Alex Mercer. No need to inject the blood again. Huh. Welp. Hey, we got extra sanity from that oh wait no we didn't we're on the same level never mind i lied ha 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 oh this whole section's kind of disturbing oh fuck you where do i hide can i crawl into one of these oh i can sit behind here Don't look at him. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm losing all of my sanity. But the light is going to give away my position. Oh my god. Just please go away, dude. He hasn't even broken open that door, so I'm good. I'm safe for now, just need to not lose all my sanity, please. <sighs> yep, vision's all super blurry. This is the worst. I guess. Okay, the music. Music went away. So I think it's safe to peek out. Oh, jeez, this is bad. Oh, I can barely move my, uh... My vision, it's like... It's, it's really slow to respond. Jeez. I mean, I knew that was gonna happen. I, I figured they would spawn a monster, but... It was intense. I don't like not having an actual decent place to hide. It's really bad, you know? Can we just stand in the light and please get some sanity back? I think it's supposed to... If I remember correctly, from what I read, sanity can return slightly from standing in the light for a while. Oh. Well, it's still on ellipsis, but... My vision's not quite as blurry and shaky as it was before. So I guess that's good. I have, like, full control over where I'm looking. It's not, uh, delayed and sluggish. Whew. Beautiful candle. Beautiful, really. Best friend in the world. This candle right here. Okay, come on, Daniel. Pull yourself together. I don't want to start sprinting if, uh, you know, while I'm like this, because I'm pretty sure. 
pretty sure you can trip and fall when you're at your lowest amount of sanity if you try sprinting. And if you trip and fall and the monster's around, you're just done. It just walks up and chomps on you. Chomps on you real good. Uh Okay, we're still there, but we seem to not be in as bad a way. Alright, the purpose of the Inner Sanctum has always been to study the orbs and find a way to force them to yield their power. However, he was still unaware of this. Oh boy! So, we've done the cistern, we've done the morgue, we've done the other place with the puzzly things. That door's still locked. I'm betting we're never actually going to go through that big door. Just a little guess. Just a little guess a -rooney. Still budged. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a pretty big door. I suppose that would take a couple people to pull open. Big and heavy, thick wood studded with metal for some reason. Because for some reason people think that metal rivets were put into everything in in like middle ages and all that but whatever hey i'm no historian i'm not one to lecture time to go to the sewer yay best part of the game i bet what could go wrong in a sewer nothing that's what all right sewer Sewer time. Henry Bedlow went to class carrying the anger of his bitter mother. He never cried. He made others cry instead. Pain is like that. You either become sad or you become angry. Henry always chose the latter. Who's Henry Bedlow now? Oh, okay. Kind of random gate to have right there, but whatever. Oh, Fungi! What's up? What's up, guys? Oh, God. Oh, God. Is it coming this way? I guess not. I, I actually have more sanity than I had before. That's nice. That's cool. Oh, is this area... This area is illuminated. Okay, so he went that way, so I'm gonna go this way, of course. Oh, I don't like this area at all. I can't even, like, move at my normal speed. And I make tons of noise everywhere I walk because of the water. What? The hell was that? Do we just hear a noise come from the other side of the rocks? I don't know. I don't know, I don't like any of this. I really don't. There's nowhere to hide. I'm guessing that's maybe where we have to go. Or at least one area we can go at some point. Oh, oh, there's a door. Let's give it a try and open it up. Oh. Sweet. Give me that. Barely any. Wow. Barrel contains no oil. Amazing. Okay, what's all this? A puzzle. Thinking and puzzles and thinking and doing and puzzles and platforming and all that. Great. 
small lever, medium lever, big lever. One and two. We have no idea what the answer is. It's probably a note or something to explain it, but fuck it. Okay, I have no idea what this is accomplishing. And of course we're not really supposed to because we haven't found the note or whatever that would explain what this is all about. <sighs> Alright. Well, back out here I guess. So we can find what the hell to do. Jesus Christ. Where do I hide? Back here? Does this even work? I guess so. I can't see him. So it'll have to be good enough. We'll have to hope he can't see us. Kind of reminds me how, uh, as a little kid, I was kind of stupid, as little kids often are, and I had this weird idea that if you can't see someone else there's no way they could see you because I didn't understand the, like I didn't understand the concept of you know of like the fact that your eyes are only one part of your body and it's very easy for some of your body to be visible but not the entirety of it I was a dumb kid I was a really dumb kid Okay. He does not seem to have come this way. Alright. Also, do we... Do we make less noise crouching in the water? I think we do. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Because I don't want to make noise. Because noise could attract the monster, if it appears. And attracting the monster is the last thing I want to be doing. But unfortunately, despite the many branching directions and intersections we have here. Most of them are blocked off by gates. What was that? Stop shaking! Is Brandenburg Castle having a little bit of an earthquake problem? Sheesh. So yeah, we don't actually have many places we can go, so I guess we gotta go over here. Oh, you know what? We probably need to stop this and get past it. What are you doing? Okay, yeah. Yeah, almost undoubtedly that's where we have to go. So... I mean, that's like the ultimate goal. But first... We have to find out how to get it to stop. Otherwise, it'll crush us to death. Very pleasant. Uh, okay. That looks like a thing. Probably for a puzzle. Okay. Pipe seems to be loose. Picked up pipe. Awesome. That's great. What? short pipe. Okay, any memos that the two levers control the noisy machine? Yeah. I already kinda guessed that the noise 
But like I did, I did slightly notice the noise was changing as we moved the levers. But the problem is, I don't know what the ultimate goal is of those levers. Do we want to change the levers around so that the machine's making less noise? Or so that's making even more noise? Or do we want to make the noise into some kind of steady rhythm? Um, well, you know what? Let me theorize that. Theorize about that when we get back to the uh, relative safety of the room that the noisy machine and the levers were in in the first place. Because for now, since there's nowhere else we can go, uh, might as well. Okay. Just keep, just keep crawling, just keep crawling. Da, 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 da. All right, cool. So, hmm. Okay, first of all, is there somewhere for the pipe to go in? I don't see any place that looks like the pipe could fit. Unless, hmm. Are we actually supposed to use the pipe to jam up the, uh, like, water mill thing? That actually makes more sense. But then what's this for? Alright, so the memento says the two levers control the noisy machine. I guess if... This is just my hypothesis I'm coming up with on the fly. I would guess that if it is going out of its way to describe it as a noisy machine, probably our goal is to make it not noisy anymore. <laughs> okay, as we put it up higher, the noise gets louder. Down there, it's practically stopped. And on this one, it's the opposite way. So, it's as quiet as possible when two is on the big lever and one's on the small lever. What if we make it as loud as possible? Because they both started off in the middle. And I believe it should give us some type of message letting us know when we've got it right. Nothing seems to be happening. Alright. Nope. Let's try every combination then. Okay, and now we're back to where we started with the machine being more quiet. Put this on one and this on three. Uh, hmm. Alright, so without any notes or anything to explain this, I'm gonna guess that maybe this somehow... Why? What the hell? My character just started automatically walking to the right. I think... I do believe this game has an auto-walk button, 
And maybe I accidentally pressed it. That was weird. Either way, whatever. Okay. So this, uh... Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna guess this is probably... This probably has to do with the speed of that water mill. Maybe. And maybe we need to keep them as quiet as possible so that the water mill slows down as much as possible. And maybe that'll let us put the pipe into the thing. But before we do that, let's try and combine the pipe with everything. Because why not? Okay, no. So that's not going to work. And there's definitely nothing I see that we can put the pipe in. Not in this room, at least. Maybe out in the hallways. But to be honest, I'm not super pumped about the idea of running through those hallways looking at every nook and cranny to fit a pipe into it. So I think we're going to... I think next, when we come back, we're going to try shoving this pipe right into the water mill with these left as they are making as little noise as possible because that seems most likely to me to be the correct answer. So we will do that when we return, but unfortunately I'm all out of time for this episode, so I hope you all have enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.